Ryan Pace, the great poker player. That's how Shane Marsaw referred to the Bears general manager after the year-end 2019 press conference. What Shane meant is that there's no way you can believe anything Ryan Pace says at his press conferences. He's so secretive, he doesn't want cameras at Bourbon A taping the team's practices for social media consumption. He goes through elaborate subterfuge to hide the fact that he is meeting with Mitch Trubisky prior to the 2018 draft. He holds his cards so close to himself that he might as well have them sewn on to his chest. Remember in the 2018 NFL Combine, this after he signed Mike Lennon, he was asked about the possibility of moving up in the draft to select a quarterback. You just gotta be you just gotta be careful with doing that. Because I think what happens with us is you get competitive and you know you need this position. And it doesn't happen the day of the draft. It happens in the months preceding the draft. You start convincing yourself that you need to position, uh, push a certain position up the board. And that's when the mistake is made. So we gotta be conscious of that at any position, you know, and there's certain positions in this draft that are really strong, you know, and some of those positions fit our needs. He was trying to throw the competition off the trail of his infatuation, his love of Mitchell Trubisky. Or do you remember last year's draft after he signed Mike Davis to the running back position and he was asked about drafting a running back? You know, right now I know running back's been talked about a lot, but we feel good about that position. We feel good about Tariq. We feel really good about Mike Davis. We feel good about Ryan Nall. And we feel good about Cordell Patterson and the things he can do out of the backfield. So the narrative you were talking about, do you think that people are talking too much about the running back spot? Like, you're hearing too much stuff? I think there's probably always a storyline with every draft. I understand why it's that way, but I don't feel like we go into this draft saying, man, we have to take this position or we're in trouble. Pace traded up 14 spots to draft David Montgomery. Today, he and Matt Nagy deflected questions about the futures of the assistant coaches. An hour after the press conference, multiple coaches were fired. So when he says he's happy with Leonard Floyd's play and that Mitch Trubisky is the starting quarterback for 2020, I agree with Shane. He might be bluffing.